good morning children so today we are going to start chapter number 3 coordinate geometry coordinate geometry so children you have got the previous concepts of graphs so you have done in class 8 regarding the uh, axis that is the x axis hmm. y axis then the quadrants so today we are going to discuss all these things and the same thing that you have got in class 8 all those things you will get in this in this chapter number 3 but in chapter number 4 you will get a concept higher than this so now let's begin so these are the two coordinate axes so now let us take that this is the, the flat plane so a plane surface any plane surface like the paper or you take this board so this is the plane flat plane surface on this surface you have drawn the coordinate axis that is the x and this y axis so this plane is called the cartesian plane now this coordinate axis divide this plane into four parts so they are called each part is called quadrant so quadrant means one fourth so it is one by four quadrant so out of four part each part will be just one part so that is why this is called quadrant now this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant now in the first quadrant the coordinates are so this coordinates means the first sign will be for the x and the second sign will be for the y similarly for x and y x and y x and y now how it is class in class let us see in this quadrant the first is x coordinate so these are all positive numbers. So it is the right of the origin, positive. So it is x is plus, y is also called plus. So plus one or plus. Second one, right? So you have x. x is minus. All these are negative. This is all plus. So that y is plus. Then the third one, the quadrant. So you have x is negative. All these are negative. Then the y is also negative. Then the fourth quadrant, x is positive, then y is negative. Then now, these two axes, this is the x axis, y axis, meet at this point O. This point O is for the point of origin. So O R I G I, which you have learned in class eight, origin O R I G I. So the coordinates of the origin. So Whenever I say coordinates, or you get coordinates, that time that will mean x and y, not y and x. Always x and y. So the coordinates of the origin is so these two axes meet at this point O. So it will be 0, 0. That means x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is also 0. So 0, 0. That is the coordinates of the origin. Now as you know that the right of the origin, these are all the positive integers, left of the origin, along the x axis it will be negative. Above the x axis, it is the positive integer 1, 2, 3, 4. Below the, below the x axis, it is called the negative integer. So now the Cartesian plane again, this is the flat plane. So any plane surface, flat plane, where you draw the two coordinate axes. So that plane will be called the Cartesian plane and this coordinate axis, that is the x axis, y axis, divide this plane into four parts, each part is called the quadrant. Now, at this point where the two axes will meet, that point is called the origin, whose coordinates is 0, 0. Now, we can identify the quadrants based on their sign. If this plus and plus, that will mean that will lie in the first quadrant, minus comma plus, that will lie in the second quadrant, minus comma minus, that will lie in the third quadrant, and plus and minus, that will lie in the fourth quadrant. Let us take three points. Let me give
I will see children, I have just taken some points. So let us take the coordinate of A. Now, this is the point A. What will be the coordinates of A? Now this point A lies along the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, so the sign is plus and plus. So here x will be 2. The first coordinate is always x. This is the x-axis, y-axis. So x is 2. X is 2. Y is 4. So this is x. So y is 4. So it will be 4. So it is plus and plus. First one. Let us take the coordinate of b. So here x is 5. Then y is 2. Y is 2. So x is 5. X is 5. Then y is 2. As I told you, it will be always the x and y, x and y. So they are called the, the first one is called x coordinate, second one is called the y coordinate. So x coordinate, y coordinate. Let us take point C, the coordinates of points. X is 3, this is the x axis, y axis. So x is 3, so corresponding to 3, so y is minus 3. So x is 3, so corresponding to 3, y is minus 3. Let us take point D, coordinates of D. So here, this is the x axis, y axis, x is minus 3. Then here, D, so here, y is minus 2. x is minus 3, corresponding to minus 3, y is minus 2. What is the coordinates of E? x is minus 2, then y is minus 5. So, x coordinate, y coordinate, x coordinate, y coordinate. Then, let us take coordinate of say, this, let me give us f, because this is, now you see, these points a, b, d, e, this lies along the quadrants, point c, so these points, they lie along the quadrants. But this point does not lie on the quadrant, it lies along the x axis. So, in that case, you will get one of the coordinates 0, as we have got in class 8 also. So, here, since this point f it lies along the x axis, so here the x is minus 4, so x will be minus 4, y will be 0. So, if the point lies along the Axis, either x axis or the y axis. In this case, one of the coordinates will be 0. Since this x is minus 4, so minus 4, so y is 0. Let us take the coordinates of f. This f lies along the, along the y axis. So that is why here the x, the first coordinate is always x. But since this 6 lies along the y axis, Axis. So that is why your x will be 0. x will be 0. Then here y is 6. So, so that will be 6. 0, 6. x will be 0, y is 6. So let us take coordinates of say g. Let me give this point. G. So here the point G lies along the y axis. So it lies along the axis. So here, since this G lies along the along the y axis, that is why here x will be 0 and the y is minus 4. Let us take coordinate of G. Coordinate of G. Now the G lies along the x axis. So here, then this x will be 4, then y is 0. So in this way, and all these things you have got in class 8 also. So you, you have not learned anything newly. Only two terminology you will learn now. That is one is called the f second one is called the coordinate. So here, f CSA, FCSA, A, B, S, C, I, double S, A, you will get in the book. So, FCSA. It refers 
to the x coordinate it refers to the x coordinate so these are our x coordinate these are our x coordinate and the second second coordinate is the y coordinate so 6 4 2 0 minus 3 these are called the y coordinates and they are called the coordinate o r d i n a t e so coordinate so coordinate refers to the y coordinate y coordinate so the y coordinate is called the coordinate and the x coordinate is called the abscissa abscissa so now let us discuss now so here normally you say x coordinate y coordinate x coordinate y coordinate x coordinate y coordinate in this way you say now when we tell you that the abscissa is now you can tell this way also that abscissa is 0 and the coordinate is 6 abscissa is 2 coordinate is 4 abscissa is 5 that is the x coordinate then coordinate coordinate is the y coordinate so so the coordinate is 2 so in this way you will write now you see here those points that do not lie along the axis that means on these two lines they will lie on the quadrants and they and these points you will not see any zero did you see any zero there is 2 comma 4 but you did not get zero 3 comma minus 3 you did not get zero but now you see those points that lie along the axis, x axis, y axis, you will get all zero. So since this is y, 6 is the y, so y is 6, x will be 0. Since x is minus 4, so x will be minus 4, y will be 0. Here g, so this is the x axis, x is 4, x is 4, so y is 0. Then you take f, so here the means y axis here x is 0 y is 6 similarly let us take this g so here y axis x is minus sorry y is minus 4 so the x will be 0 so that is why the point line along the axis x in this order means y axis one of the coordinate you will get 0 then the other points that lie along the quadrants, these are called the quadrants, these are called quadrants. So there you will not get zero. Now, So let us take some points. Let me take, say it is this point I took here, and say I took this point. Let me give this point as A, and this we give this point as B. Now you see the coordinate of A is so x is minus 2, then here y is. Now suppose that they ask that what is the distance, that is the perpendicular distance of point A from the x axis and from the, from the y axis. So the distance of this point A from both the axes. So now what is the distance of this point A from the x axis? So this line is the, is the x axis, y axis. So the distance means the height, that is the perpendicular distance. So you see, if you join these points, you, you get one rectangle, rectangle, so the opposite sides are equal. So now the distance of this point A from the x axis, so it is how much distance? You can see from here, 0 to 3, 3 means 0 to 3, this is 3, so 0 to 3, so it is 3 units. That means you have taken the y coordinate. 
the equation was the distance of this point A from the from the x-axis. So you took how much? 3 unit. That means you took the coordinate 1. But in units, not in centimeter or meter. Then what is the distance of this point A from the from the y axis? Y axis. So the distance of this point from the from the y axis is how much? This this side and this side is equal. So here 0 to 2, how much? 2 unit. Distance is always positive. Distance cannot be negative. So 0 to minus 2 means 2 unit. So it's 2 units. So the distance will be how much? Of A and the and the Y axis. It will be 2 units. 2 units. Similarly, let us take this. It is minus 4, comma minus 3. What is the distance of point B from the coordinate axis? So from the x axis, this point will be how much? This 3 unit. So you took the coordinate y. So it is 3 units. 3 units. What is the distance of B from the from the y axis? Y axis. So the distance is this. So it is how much? It is 0 to 0 to minus 4. 4 units. 0 to minus 4, 4 units. So it will be 4 units. 4 units. Let us take one more. Say if it is this one. Say I have given it is point C. So the, so the coordinate is x is 2, y is 3. So the distance of C from the x axis. So it will be how much? Rectangle. So 0 to 3, 3 units. So you took the coordinate y. And from the y axis, y axis, so it is how much? 0 to 2, 2 units. So you took the x coordinate, so it is 2 units. 2 units. Distance from the x axis, so it is how much? 3 units. So you took the y coordinate. And distance from the y axis, you took how much? 2 units. That means you took the x coordinate. And distance will be always positive. Though you have seen it negative, but the distance will be always positive. So these are the things we have got in class 8 also. And the two terms you have learned today, that is the abscissa and the origin. So now you can say that this is the abscissa. Abscissa is 2, that is the x coordinate. Ordinary is 3, which means the y coordinate. Here the abscissa is minus 4. That is the x coordinate. Here the ordinate is minus 3, which is the y coordinate. Now, let us take one more. Say here I have given, say I have given here, say P, and here I gave Q. Now, what is the distance between the points P and Q? This is P, this is Q. So this, this point is P, minus 2. So this point is P. So I have given as P. So P and Q. So Q is 2. So the distance will be this. It is very simple. 0 to 2, it will be 2 unit. And 0 to minus 2, it will be also 2 unit. Because as I have told you, distance is never negative. Distance is always positive. So 0 to 2 unit. So, so 2, that will be 2 unit, 0 to minus 2, 2 unit. So 2 plus 2, you got 4 unit. So that means distance PQ equals to 2 plus 2, 4 unit. Let us take,
the distance between A and say here the distance is say B. What is the distance between the points A and B? So you have to find this distance from A to B. So now before that let us take the coordinates of A. So as I have told you if any point you see along the means axis. Now this point A and B they lie along the y axis. So here one of the coordinates you will get 0. So the x will be 0 and the y is 3. Because x and y not y and x. So x will be 0, y is 3. And in the coordinate of B, so here it will be 0, minus 4. Because y is minus 4, x will be 0. Now you see what is the distance between A and B. So from the graph we can see 0 to 3, 0 to 3 it will be 3 units and 0 to minus 4 it will be 4 units. 4 units. Then what is AB? So AB distance AB so it is 0 to 3 it will be 3 plus 0 to minus 4 means 4. So it is distance positive. 0 to so 4. So it will be 4 units. So you got 7 units. If you count also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you got 7 units. It will be always units. Let us count. Say this 3. This one is 2. Say this is P. This is point Q. Let us take the coordinates of P. What is the coordinate of P? Now these two points they lie along the x axis. So there one of the coordinate is going to be 0. So here x is minus 3. This is the x axis. x will be minus 3. And you know that the x coordinate comes at first. Then the y will be 0. Here it will be 2 comma 0. So the x is 2. x is 2 the y will be 0. Now you find the distance between P and Q. So 0 to 2, there will be 2 unit. So here PQ equals to, so you count from the origin. So 0 to 2, it will be 2 unit. Plus 0 to minus 3, it will be 3 unit. As I have told, distance is always positive. So equals to 5 units. 5 units. So, children, these are the only concepts you will get in class, uh, sorry, in the chapter number 3. And you will get in chapter number 4, little higher than this, where you will draw the graphs of the equations, you will get uh, word problems. So, there the chapter will be a little bit different than this, but the basic knowledge you are going to apply from this only. And in chapter 3, it's almost similar to what we have read in class 8. That is why I don't think so that you will find it difficult and in the file that you will get I have sent everything with few means additional questions so you go through it you will find it very simple it will be easy so I feel that the chapter is enough so if you have got doubt also you can just call me